Just hours ago, Whirlpool announced it has reached a settlement with most homeowners whose properties were contaminated by the company. 4029's Brett Rains tells us if homeowners think it's a fair deal, it's new at six. I think it was great. Great. Yeah, because a lot of people needed that money. Raymond Flowers lives across the street from where Whirlpool used to operate. He's one of 54 homeowners who have settled with the company. Home values plummeted when people were told their properties were contaminated with a cancer-causing chemical. It went down uh, probably $30,000. According to Whirlpool, homeowners will be paid the amount their property values declined plus attorney fees. And all, Whirlpool says it's paying out more than $3 million. Well, I wasn't asking for any more than what we had lost. And that's what they did. They gave us what we had lost in the, in the, the difference in the property value. So, you know, that's fair. Whirlpool used the chemical trichloroethylene as a degreaser for decades. TCE causes cancer. The company stopped using it in the 80s, but it leaked out, contaminating the groundwater beneath the factory and this neighborhood. Whirlpool has said all along people were never in danger. Don't have to say Whirlpool anymore. They've moved out of the community. We need to move on. We need to do something with the property, have somebody else move in, and just close this chapter on Whirlpool altogether. Brett Rains, 4029 News. And as part of the agreement, property owners must allow testing and treatment for TCE on their property. Whirlpool says it's still trying to sell the now closed factory.